Beyond the standard filters, the Schedule Assistant has advanced filters that help dispatchers find resources in more specific scenarios. When a dispatcher triggers the Schedule Assistant from the schedule board or elsewhere, the filter panel shows on the left. At the bottom of the filter panel is a section for advanced filters that show after you expand them. Let's take a look at a few of these advanced filters. Let's start with real-time mode. Real-time mode makes the schedule assistant use each technician's current location, as defined by their mobile device, for travel time calculations. This is helpful for emergency scenarios where dispatchers need to find the absolute closest technician and does not want to rely simply on where they are scheduled to be, especially if they are en route or stopped for lunch somewhere. Here is an example. At the top of the map is a work order shown with a red pin. At the bottom is a blue pin where the resource David So is scheduled to start his day. If we trigger the schedule assistant, it recommends David So and calculates that he is seven minutes away from the work order. However, just to be sure, let's turn on the real-time mode filter and search with the schedule assistant again. The travel time recalculates and the resource is actually 13 minutes away. On the map, a truck icon is displayed showing the true location and a timestamp of where and when the technician last logged in to his mobile app. This helps dispatchers make more informed decisions about which resources can get to the work order location the quickest. As another example of an advanced schedule assistant filter, consider ignore travel time. When the schedule assistant searches for available resources, it looks for availability for the duration of the work order plus the travel time to get to the work order. For example, this resource can begin traveling at 2 p.m., get to the work order job site at 2.25 p.m., and then finish in two and a half hours at 4.55 p.m. However, sometimes dispatchers may want to ignore travel time because they want to fit another job into the schedule and the technician is okay with working overtime. Go to the advanced filters, check off the ignore travel time filter, and search again for resources. This time, the same job can be scheduled to the same resource before lunch instead of after. The estimated travel time will still show, but the total time of the job on the schedule is just the work order duration. Another great advanced filter is the ability to ignore proposed bookings. By this we mean ignore bookings that have a status of proposed. Many organizations will schedule jobs with a status of proposed, but don't act on the schedules until the customer or another stakeholder commits, at which time the status will be changed to committed or scheduled. Until a booking is committed, a dispatcher may want to schedule over those bookings by ignoring them with the schedule assistant. As an example, here is a lead for a product consultation that was scheduled with a status of proposed. By default, the schedule assistant will view this time as free and recommend this resource as available during that time. Next, let's delete this booking, remove the ignore proposed bookings advanced filter, and search for resources again. This time, it recommends a time slot before and after the proposed booking, but not during. Another important advanced feature is setting up default values for filters in the schedule assistant. When a dispatcher triggers the schedule assistant, many filters are displayed on the left side and some filters have default values. For example, the ignore proposed bookings filter is set to true by default. As another example, resource results are sorted by alphabetical order by default, and this filter can be edited or even removed. This is done with XML in the Retrieve Resources Constraint feature. Double click on the Schedule Board tab, then select Open Default Settings. Under the Schedule Type section, you can define how the Schedule Assistant searches for each entity that is enabled for scheduling. In this example, we will go to work orders. 
Then go to the Schedule Assistant Retrieve Resources Constraint Query field. Here you can control the XML that defines how the Schedule Assistant retrieves resources. As one example, here is where the Ignore Proposed Bookings filter is set to True by default, whereas the other advanced filters are set to False.